Well, if you live in Springfield, beginning tomorrow, you'll be required to wear a mask when you're out in public around other people. Color 10's Francis Lynn is here tonight to tell us how business owners are responding to people who say they're never going to wear a mask or be forced to wear one when they are required to be out there in public to wear those masks. What'd you find out, Francis? Well, on social media after the ordinance passed, there are some people who say they will not comply with the mask ordinance. And some people I interviewed at the council meeting on Monday also confirmed they will be risking fines and not going to stores that require masking. Here are some of the comments. Karen says, quote, I will not do it. Susie says, quote, never will I wear a face mask. The city has no right to impose it upon citizens. And Robin responds to a post with Walmart requiring masks with just lost my business. I visited Bass Pro Shops and Andy B's in Springfield today. They both told me they will be complying with the city's ordinance and they're not worried about business declining. We're not too concerned about it impacting our business. We haven't seen a lot of our guests um, since the, the law has passed that um, are noting that they would be refu or not wanting to visit our facilities. Uh, so we don't think that would be a huge concern for us. We're seeing an unprecedented demand for outdoor gear. People are looking for a place to be safe and going out into nature is just one of those ways that they can practice that social distancing. With such a large store, it is rather easy for us to use the six foot social distancing. Trevor Collins at Andy B's and Lauren Good at Bass Pro Shops says they have already been encouraging masks and social distancing. We have been uh, thoroughly trying to communicate to our guests and remind them to uh, be safe while they're in our facilities. We do encourage all of our guests to wear masks and our outfitters here will also be reminding our guests of the city ordinance as well. And now masks will just be required instead of recommended. If our guests do come in without a mask, um, we can provide a one time single use disposable mask when they come into the store. We will be taking extra precaution in each of our facilities um, here at Andy B Springfield. What we'll be doing is going ahead and socially distancing all of our lanes. Uh, so guests are whole, um, set six feet apart at least. Uh, we'll also be requiring a mask um, in all of our areas unless you're consuming food and beverage. And I reached out to business owners online to ask if they expect the ordinance to affect them. Almost all businesses say they don't expect to be impacted at all, as you can see in these comments. And Springfield's ordinance sets up a $100 fine for people or businesses not following the masking ordinance. Citations and fines will be given when someone complains, and police have said they'll try to educate people about the ordinance before they issue a fine. Francis Lynn tonight, thanks.